today's my topic is electric generator electric generator is a device for producing electric energy electricity or electric current the electric generator converts mechanical energy into electrical energy a small generator which is used for producing electricity or electric current is called dynamo depending upon type of current produced by the electric generator these are of two types first one is alternating current generator in short it is called ac generator second one is direct current generator it is called dc generator electric generator works on the principle of electromagnetic induction that means when a straight conductor is moved in a magnetic field an electric current is induced in the conductor in electric generator a coil is moved in a magnetic field so a current is induced in the electric generator we will discuss what the generators what type of generators one by one the first one which we are discussing is the alternating current generator or ac generator let us consider the construction of ac generator this is the diagram of ac generator here a rectangular coil a b c d is placed between the poles of a strong magnet two ends of this coil abcd are connected with two slip rings r1 and r2 these slip rings are connected with two stable brushes b1 and b2 which are connected with a galvanometer to detect the direction of the current induced in the circuit to this slip rings r1 and r2 an axle can be attached so that coil is can be rotated in the magnetic field as the coil is rotated in the magnetic field suppose the coil here the coil is rotated in clockwise direction so if we apply fleming right hand rule according to this this thumb is showing the direction of motion in this case it is the in the upper direction the four finger shows the direction of magnetic field from north to south then our middle finger shows the direction of current induced in the side ab in this case current induced in side ab is from a to b direction similarly if we apply fleming's right hand rule on side cd then current induced in side cd will be from c to d direction so here we can see the current in the coil flows from in a b c d direction and in the external circuit current flows from brush b2 to b1 after half rotation when side cd comes in the left hand side and side ab comes in the right hand side like in this diagram now again if we apply fleming's right hand rule to the side cd then direction of current induced in side cd is from d to c direction and in side ab it will be from b to a direction so here we can see the induced current flows in coil in dc ba direction and in the outer circuit current flows from brush b1 to b2 direction so here we can see that after half rotation direction of induced current is reversed so this type of current which changes its direction after every half rotation is called alternating current and the generator which produces alternating current is called alternating current generator or ac generator next one is dc generator 
this is the diagram of dc generator or we call it direct current generator ac generator and dc generator works on the same principle only difference is that in dc generator there are half rings in place of slip rings in the ac generator these slit rings or half rings are called commutators here the coil ab cd is placed in a magnetic field and two ends of the coils are connected with two split rings these split rings are connected with the axle so that coil can be rotated in the magnetic field these split rings are connected with two fixed brushes v1 and v2 here these are x and y which are connected with a galvanometer to detect the current produced so when the coil is rotated in the magnetic field Suppose here coil is rotated in clockwise direction. So if we apply Fleming's right hand rule on side AB, then we'll find the current direction of current in side AB will be from A to B direction. Similarly, if we apply Fleming's right hand rule on side CD, we will find direction of induced current will be from C to D direction. So here in the coil, current flows in A, B, C, D direction and each outside circuit, current flows from Y to X direction. After half rotation, when side C, D comes uh, left hand side and side A, B comes right hand side. So again, if we apply Fleming's right hand rule on side C, D, then the direction of induced current will be from D to C direction. And here, when side A becomes this side, if we apply Fleming's right hand rule now, the direction of induced current will be from B to A direction. So we can see in the coil, induced current flows from D, C, B, A direction, and in the external circuit, current will flow from Y to X. So here we can see direction of current in the external circuit remains the same even after half rotation. So this type of current which does not change its direction is called direct current and the generator which produces direct current is called direct current generator or DC generator. That means in DC current generator current flows only in one direction. This is how AC generator and DC generator work.